Hi everyone, okay, so the new missions have just this second go gone up. Let's see what's in store for us. We're going farming. Okay, vermin control, kill all walkers. Sounds like a nice simple one. I'm taking T-Dog here because one of my daily challenges is to kill walkers with a bruiser. So let's let's do that. T-Dog is the most killy of the bruisers, I would say, because of his beat -em up thing. Which is just a great skill. Um, if you disagree, let me know why. But we're going to take him uh, and we're going to kill some walkers because that's what the mission is. Okay, looks like we have got two uh, uh, two big guys there. Um, and we also had one bloater as well. So if you're taking ranged weapons, got to be careful with him. It would be absolutely fine, but you don't necessarily know where they're going to be. Looks like this is a moderately sized map. Definitely some blind spots in there. Taking quieter characters might well mean that you don't tip the enemy off to uh, to your location. But certainly some shooty characters, well, yeah, I mean, you're going to be able to engage them from a distance. It's just that bloater. Bloaters are horrible enemies to be going up against. So, farmlands, I'd, I'd recommend a close combat character to just to just take him out. Maybe a bruiser to keep him occupied. Um, maybe a scout or a warrior with a good weapon to, to just cause that damage, get rid of him as soon as you need. Last thing you want to be doing is shooting that thing dead. On a higher level, they're likely to be close, and it will just mess up your game plan entirely. Needles and haystacks. Get the loot and get back out. Okay, so this one would be a good one to bring Glenn along with, just because of his lucky dumpster thing. Um, oh, I, I think I recognize this. Let's just charge you in there, T-Dog. These guys, they ain't going to cause you any damage. I mean, they just they just aren't, not at this level. So, boom, retaliate, boom, beat them up. <sighs> kind of a fun character, actually, T-Dog. You get to, to really cause some damage. That new weapon, Luke's Mace, as well, where you sort of essentially get uh, uh, additional attacks. You know, you can make an, a, a normal attack after you use your charge attack. He's just gonna be he's just gonna be swinging and, and killing stuff like uh, like it ain't like it ain't nothing so definitely got to get that thing upgraded oh hey what are you doing what are you doing just okay so I guess that once you've unlocked the crates it looks like you're gonna have yes you're gonna have walkers coming in every turn i'm just i'm just getting a couple of kills here what i would strongly suggest is that you come up with an exit strategy obviously search the um search the containers closest to you you don't know which one's actually going to you know which one's going to need to be searched um but go for the ones closest to you obviously and work your way in but uh yeah have have an exit strategy definitely when you play this map Again, moderately sized map, lots of blind spots, couple of uh, uh, choke points as well. Hmm. I mean, close combat characters could, could definitely be a good bet for this one, but you might well find yourself getting surrounded if you don't keep your situational awareness. I think Glenn is... is a, you've got to take Glenn. When you get to those higher levels, he's um, he's definitely going to be very valuable as a scout. He's very fast. He can search a box. He can still kill, you know, an enemy. So, Porchwind, get to the exit and into the main house. Oh, yeah, this one, this one. I mean, this one's a bit of a bigger map than the previous two. Yes, you've got a, a couple of bruisers there. Sorry, not bruisers. You know, big guys. Um, but 
you know, you can engage them from a distance and, and, and that ain't too much of a problem. Uh, I suggest sort of just rush through this one. Um, I think ranged characters would be a good one. Just keep the enemy at arm's length here for this one. I mean, you can kind of see what it is. It's, it's essentially just kill all the walkers. But you do have a threat counter that's going to tick over. So maybe quieter weapons would be preferable if that's an option. You know, ranged weapons like bows or close combat weapons. That's, that's actually a, a fun stage. I um, kind of like that one. I don't know why, it just seems just seems nice and simple, nice and straightforward, nicely laid out. Hey, five Carl tokens. Banging. Right, overgrown, open the gate and get out. Okay. Ready to burst if punctured with great force. Yeah, so, oh, they're called goos. Hmm. All right, okay, didn't know that. From now on, I shall use the uh, the correct terms. The game says so. They're 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 not called bloaters. They're called goos. Bloater is better. Oh, this one can be this one can be a tricky one. Each set there's always some missions that are just feel a little bit easier than others. There's always some that are a bit trickier. Let's um, we're not at too mi too much risk, so we're actually gonna we're gonna burst that goo that goo walker. Um, because they're not, it doesn't cause any damage, it just stuns you, but that can, it can really mess up your gameplay. Oh, and it increases the threat counter as well. So when those goos explode, yeah, I knew you were going to be popping up, I knew it, I know this map. Yeah, there we go. So what could we do against this if this was a high level? Well, okay, you just blew up. Um... Rooting weapons are very good, obviously. Uh, grenades um, will take off a portion of damage regardless of how tough they are. Uh, I, I think they can be distracted. Um, I don't believe that goos can be stunned. But yeah, just bear in mind, as soon as you start opening that gate, that's going to happen. And it can catch you by surprise on the higher levels. If you've got other things on your mind, you start opening that gate and you think, okay, right, I'm making my escape. And then all of a sudden, that goo climbs out from under that tractor and is just ready to make your life a nightmare. So you might want to start timing when you open the gate. Make sure there's no other zombies on the map. Make sure that there's nothing going to be coming in from the threat counter, you know, that, that kind of thing. Hammer and saw, get the loot and get out. Uh, yeah, so we've got another goo. Tank. Eh, is that what they call Tank? Ah, okay. Scout, hunter, shooter. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, warrior can be on there now that we've got some really, really sort of powerful weapons available to them, like the chainsaw and the obsidian ripper. Anyway, hammer and saw. Nice. There's some nice themes to this set uh, of of missions. Um, definitely getting season two vibes. So obviously we're on a low level. So yeah, I mean that that tank was just not going to be a problem. But on higher levels, yes, as you know, you might have to plan how you're going to take them out over over several turns. We're gonna. Just go here just so that we can get some more kills with, with T-Dog. Because um, obviously that's the weekly challenge. Daily challenge, sorry. sorry. Um, yeah, fairly standard stuff. You've got boxes to search. So maybe, you know, uh, uh, scouts, especially Glenn. Um, and shooters with their extra movement. You know, that, that can kind of come in. Because you have to go all the way up there to, to get that one. Um... So they might be good on this map. Again, good good mission layout. You know, it's it's not completely enclosed, but there are some choke points. Hey, how are you doing, Goo? Yeah, he just he just just rocks up when he fancies it. Boom. 
Again, look at how much that affects the threat counter, though. You've got to be sure that you can take him out and then just scarper, because this, on higher levels, is one where you could really start getting surrounded. So, um, yeah, pick your targets. Lower levels doesn't matter so much, but... 25 stars, yay! Rufus tokens. Come on, two more kills with a bruiser. Straw men take down both of the tough walkers. They are tanks. Okay, again, anything that can root them in place, great. Anything that can stun them is worthless because they can't be stunned. Um, and you want high damage weapons to, to sort of... Yeah, so sort of take him out. This one could be... I, I remember this mission can be really tough on the higher levels. I mean... Definitely recommend using ranged characters. Because, I mean, just, just look at this. You know, you're going to get a couple of shots in before those big guys get to you. But, uh... Yeah, it can, it can definitely still be a tricky one. Yumiko. I mean, Rick... Your, your damage increases as you kill enemies, but there's not many to kill before you have to start taking down those big guys. Um, bruisers don't really cause enough damage. You kind of want to be weakening the uh, the big guys with ranged fire and then maybe taking them out with a scout, anything like that. I don't know. Um, the old classic Yumiko, Sasha, Princess trio, that is great. Their skills feed into each other so well. That'd probably be a good choice for that map. But obviously, if you've got any other thoughts, any other combos that you like to use that you found to work, just let us know in the comments. All right, so there we go. We've taken a stroll through the fields of the farmlands. Uh, if anybody else has got any tips or tactics or tricks or observations, just please do let me know. And as ever, thanks for watching.